Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be sharing with you another line in the Karpov Karakon. I'll be going over another variation. I've already gone over one variation and I'll just be going through uh, the theory of this line um, because if you do want to play this opening you will need to know the theory. Also, if you're new around here, I make videos for anyone who's looking to improve their chess, who's under about 2000 on chess.com. And uh, also, uh, I'm doing a free book giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe and tell me you did in the comments so I can enter in the giveaway. And without saying any more, let's get into um, the theory. So, e4, c6, d4, and d5, obviously the Karakhan. Uh, white goes knight d2 takes takes and we enter the Karpov variation we're going knight d7 and white has lots of uh, different moves here in the last video if you haven't seen it we went over the theory of knight f3 and that was a, a really interesting uh, theory and there's also a game i also showed a game um but in this video we'll be going over bishop c4 Maybe a more aggressive uh, version for white to play. And if you are going to be playing this variation, you will need to know the theory. Um, also, if you do play this variation, I do suggest uh, getting a notebook. You can pause the video because this this line is a bit long. So, um, yeah, you might want to get a notebook. Uh, but if you're just here for the show, uh, no worries. You can just enjoy. So, um, after white goes bishop c4, he's kind of eyeing this f7 square. And it's quite aggressive, So, um, but we just continue with uh, knight f6. Now here, uh, white goes knight g5, um, and here we have to play e6, um, uh, because he was threatening checkmate, pretty much. So we have to go e6, and now white continues here with uh, queen e2. And now, very important not to go h6 here, because uh, after h6, uh, he just takes, and after take, take, queen here, bishop here, queen h3 is checkmate. Uh, he has no moves. So, um, never play h3 here. So you have to, here you have to play uh, knight b6 after queen e2. Um, and, and there's, okay, so there's a couple, I mean, there's two lines white could go into here. He could either go with bishop d3, or he could go with bishop b3. In this video, I'll be going over bishop uh, b3, but in the next video, I'll be going over bishop d3, because um, I think they're quite different, but I'm not too sure. But you, yeah, I will make an, a separate video. Um, but here we'll be going with bishop b3. And now, an important thing to mention is that black might think that he's getting a tempo, um, a tempo on this bishop because uh, he has to move back but white may argue that this knight here was defending the e5 square and now that the knight's moved to b6 is a bit misplaced um so it's it's not like really like we're getting a tempo um it's a so yeah um and now here after bishop b3 we just continue with h6 um yes he goes a uh, knight f3 um and now here we i mean there's two moves here um, but the theory, the mainline theory continues with, continues with c5, um, and now here white goes uh, bishop f4. Now, if you're wondering uh, why, what happens if he takes? If he takes, it's very important uh, not to go bishop c5 um, because because uh, we shouldn't. We, I mean, oh, I forgot. I mean, the, no, sorry. The reason is we shouldn't take because we should go knight d2, knight d7, bring our knight back, and now we can take. So um, yeah, if he takes, don't play, don't take with the bishop. Um, make sure you take with the knight. Just very important. Um, and actually, I'm just gonna go back a bit because I was looking in my last video, and it's easy to get lost. So I just wanna uh, go over the. Just wanna so you are not too confused. So um, after knight d7, white goes bishop c4. Uh, then we just continue with knight f6, knight g5 um, to attack this pawn. Then we have to go e6 to block. Then he goes queen e2. And now we go knight b6 and bishop b3. Um, and after bishop b3, we play h6, kicking out this knight. Because um, this e6 square is protected by our bishop. Very important to note. Um, very key thing to note down is that this bishop covers the square. So when we move the knight here, it's uh, giving protection now. So we have to move back. 
And um, here we play c5. So so um, uh, this is like the, you can either play a5 here or c5. But here we're going to play c5. Um, and like I said, if he takes, we just go knight d7. Um, and here, so white, the main line continues with bishop f4. And there's a very important, um, very important thing to uh, recognize here. After bishop f4, this is the main line, um, is that you pretty much have to play knight d5. Because um, if you don't, white will castle queenside. Say, for example, uh, say, for example, we just continue with like bishop e7. Well, he's going to castle queenside and he has a lot of pressure. So um, make sure after bishop f4, you play knight b to d5. Uh, so we um, kind of close down this file and we block this bishop. Um, and we attack this bishop, of course. Now the main line continues with bishop e5. And now white has a, um, a pretty good move here, but still fairy. Um, and it's queen a5. And um, I just want to show something. Um, if your opponent plays c3, just a little drill. Um, black to play him pretty much. Black has a nice tactic here. Well, um, and he's winning um, some material. So um, if you want, you can uh, pause the video and try and find it. Okay, well if you did pause the video, uh, the move here is knight c3. So it's very important he doesn't block with um, c3 because we win this rook. So um, after his bishop comes here, uh, we have to go queen a5. Just in case you're a bit uh, lost, I'm just going to go over it again. We went c5, bishop f4 because it is hard to um, remember the theory when I'm going through it on a video quite fast. So he goes bishop f4. And now here, like I said, important move is knight d5. Um, and now here he has to go, well, the main line continues with bishop e5. And I think it's the best move as well. Because if our bishop ever moves, then he can like maybe take and we might have to take with this pawn. So, so yeah, this is a good move because it kind of eyes this g7 square. So it's probably white's best move. Um, and after, you just have to remember after bishop e5, if you have a notebook, write this down. You have, you have to go queen a5 here. Um, so like I said, you can't go c3. Um, you can go queen d2, but you know white white normally wants to play um, and win because he's the white pieces, and queen d2 is pretty much just a very boring drawish line. So um, white will normally go with knight d2. Also with knight d2, his knight can now uh, develop to f3, um, and then white continues here with b5. This is still theory, um, uh, and now b5, and then the theory goes dc4 dc5 and bishop c5 and um this is pretty much where the theory ends and this is this line and um we we can maybe castle and we can we our bishop has this open um we have this nice diagonal um so yeah this is where the uh, theory ends and um i will be showing a game from this exact position so you can uh, learn how to navigate uh, this position um Okay, I'll just go for it one more time. Um, cause it's very, very hard to uh, remember. So after knight d7, after knight d7, bishop c4. Um, remember after bishop c4, just to play knight f6, knight g5, e6, um, d defending and checkmate, queen e2, threatening to sacrifice his knight. Um, so re just remember, men just mental, mentally note it down, queen e2, the idea is um, there's always a threat of taking here. So you have, to, you have to defend this square and these pawns, so you have to go knight b6, opening, um, opening up a defense and attacking the bishop. Um, bishop b3, next video I'll be going over bishop d3. Um, and now here, uh, after bishop d3, our only once the bishop is on b3, then we go h6, he comes back, and now we go c5. After his knights come back, we just play c5. We attack the center, pretty much. Um, and now bishop f4, if he takes, we just play knight d7. So bishop f4, and an important move here is to go knight d5. After bishop f4, remember to go knight d5, because um, if he keep queenside castle, we can get very dangerous for black. So knight d5, um, attacking this bishop as well. And then he goes bishop e5. Remember that, um, I mean, this is his best move. You know, if he goes back, we probably, we just continue normally. Um, so this is the most challenging one for, for black. Uh, white's best kind of try. 
And just remember, after bishop e5, we have we go queen a5. Um, and and now the idea behind queen a5 is to pretty much force his to make him kind of move his pieces back and block. That's the main idea. Um, so after knight take after knight there, then we go b4 to stop knight c4. Um, and then he takes is the main line, and we take with the bishop. Uh, if you're wondering if why can he not just take, take and take, we just go rook g8, and um, we have a perfect comp compensation here. We have all these open files, and uh, trust me, white's fine here. I mean, practically as a human, this is very hard to play. Um, but from this position, uh, from this position. This is where the theory kind of ends, and I will be showing a game from this position. So, um, hopefully, you did enjoy this uh, theory. I, this is um, this is the second episode of the Karakan Karpov variation theory. I've got lots of more videos on this theory. So, if you are playing it, um, if you do play this, hopefully, this is um, value to you. And if you did uh, enjoy the video, uh, leave a like. Also, if you want to have a chance of winning a free book, all you have to do is subscribe. And tell me in the comments so I can enroll you um, really fast. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video and um, peace.